Scania trucks may be fitted with a retarder as an option. This is a hydraulic device which acts on the transmission to slow the truck. Like the exhaust brake, it works through the drive axle and it's ideal for sustained periods of braking such as going down long hills. Until 2015, the retarder was always operated by a lever on the right side of the steering column. For vehicles with the OptiCruise gearbox, it's incorporated into the OptiCruise gear lever as shown here. Move the retarder lever towards you to operate it. The lever has five positions, each increasing the braking effect. The exhaust brake operates with the retarder as required to give maximum auxiliary braking. While the retarder's working, you'll see this symbol light up on the instrument panel. To cancel the retarder, return the lever to the zero position. If you don't, the retarder will come on and slow the truck every time you take your foot off the accelerator. This will make your fuel consumption worse and give you a lower driver support score, so do remember to cancel it. When you set this small switch to position one, you operate the retarder using the brake pedal. The more you squeeze the pedal, the more the retarder works. When you take your foot off the brake pedal, the retarder keeps operating and works to keep the truck at the same speed. As soon as you touch the accelerator or press resume, you disengage the retarder. From 2015, there is an option to have a simple switch on the dashboard instead of the lever on the steering column, and the retarder is only operated through the brake pedal. When you release the brake, the retarder maintains the speed as before, and when you touch the accelerator or press resume, the retarder is cancelled. With this option, the retarder doesn't operate when you take your foot off the accelerator, so leaving the retarder switch turned on won't affect fuel consumption and won't affect driver support scores. Now do note the retarder is an auxiliary brake and only acts on the drive axles. So in snow, ice or other poor road conditions, turn off the switch and use the foot brake as normal.